emails and megabytes. Hi there, I'm Kevin. I'm Leah. And I'm Avalon. And this is our first demo. We're going to be making a small gift for somebody special. So let's create. So today we're going to make some cake pots. We're going to need a few ingredients. We're going to need some modelling chocolate, some fondant, some chocolates, some little cakes or muffins, brown because they look like dirt, some skewers, and some little terracotta pots. But first, we're going to need some space. Well, that was easy. Let's create. So for this project, you can either use fondant or modeling chocolate. Hey Kev, what's the difference between these two products? Well this one tastes like chocolate, and this one tastes like sugar. We want to make a little chocolate gift today, so we're going to make it taste like chocolate. Kev, can we use any other chocolates? You can, but we're going to stick with Ferrero Rocher today because they're nice and round. We want them to look like cake pops. <laughs> So one of the big things you need to know is that modelling chocolates like plasticine, fondants like Play-Doh, and they work exactly the same way. So if you get your hands on it, that's like Play-Doh, this, plasticine. So modelling chocolate, you just warm it up in your hands. It's really helpful if you've got a pasta machine. Where's the handle? Here's one, I can pick. Oh, thank you very much. Cool. So I'm just going to force this through the pasta machine. What it does is it breaks it down and homogenizes it. It brightens the colour and it makes it really smooth to use. So. It's actually a different colour yellow. It's a darker now and it's, it goes creamier. And you feel that it's so much easier to use, yeah? Yeah? Cool. I'll do yours as well. Okay, so if you don't have a pasta machine, you just knead it on the bench. And it does exactly the same thing. And it breaks up all the little lumps, makes it nice and soft, and then change the colour as well. So you should both have stop here, some nice soft modelling chocolate. Right, all we need now is a chocolate each. Can do the honours. So we're just going to get some of the modelling chocolate, we're just going to flatten it out, a little piece about that big. Probably need just a little bit more, about that much. You pick up your chocolate and you're going to put it in the middle like that. By the way, I'll swap you because you might not have enough chocolate. I'm just going to pretend that we're wrapping it up in a little blanket. So we'll put our chocolate in there and we're just going to bring all the four corners around like that. And then you just bring them together like a little parcel so that it's completely covered. You're getting ahead of yourself. Mm -hmm. Then you start rolling. And you roll and you roll and you roll. Did you just travel up your arm? <laughs> yeah. Right. And then you end up with a perfect little yellow ball. Or a lumpy one. <laughs> it's alright. It's got character. Perfect. Now we're going to need the little chocolate cakes. Could you pass those over please? Thank you very much. And we need three pots. Thank you very much. One, two. How come there's four cakes and three pots? Pudding. Alright, just grab your little muffin and give it a wee squeeze at the bottom. These are little chocolate cakes, but a muffin's actually the right shape. I'm just going to squeeze it and we're just going to push it in there like that. And that becomes our dirt. How are you getting on? Cool. Perfect. It's good. Awesome. Here we push down. Just go. Done. Fantastic. Now it looks like dirt. Skewers. Right. These are sharp. Don't stab yourself. We're going to make four each for each plant pot. Four for me. Four for you. And four for me. Right. Okay. So you just grab your chocolate and just skewer it. And the modeling chocolate actually holds it on there. So, yeah. 
do the wee twist as, if, as you put it in, you don't want to damage yourself. And just put it in your dirt. Cool. Wait, all might the way through? Put it straight in there, because otherwise it might start tipping over. That's fabulous. All the way through? No, no, just that, that, that's perfect. Now we're going to repeat the same thing again with our other three skewers. We're going to do <clears throat> three more different coloured pops. Alrighty, so just bring the four corners up. They're actually really quick. And you can do anything you like with these. We were going to turn these ones into little flowers, but you could put little black stripes around it and turn it into a bumblebee. You could put a little, you can make a little caterpillar out of this and put it on the edge. You can cut the skewers with a pair of scissors as well and have them all different sizes so they look nicer in your little garden. I'm just going to snip these skewers a little bit, a little bit smaller. Now it's really important with modeling chocolate that you don't put it in the microwave. If you put it in the microwave, it's like mayonnaise, if you put it in the microwave, it splits and the oil comes out of the chocolate and it goes into a big sticky mess like wet chewing gum. And we really don't want these to, make, to be made with wet chewing gum. While they're doing that, I'm just going to get some little balls of modeling chocolate. About the size of two peas. And I'm just going to start squashing them in my fingers and sticking them around the outside of one of the balls. So just use a different colour, so don't use red on red. Well, you can do what you like, but it looks better if you just put a different colour on. We're just going to turn this into a flower. So that doesn't take very long. And the cool thing about chocolate, or chocolate, modelling chocolate, is it sticks to itself. So you don't have to put any water on it or any edible glue. Just the heat from your hands is enough to hold it all together. Now we're going to make some eyes and some mouths for our little flowers, but we're going to have to wash our hands because if we've got some red or blue, it's going to come out onto the white. So we'll just go wash our hands and we'll come back into the eyes. So now we're going to make them come alive by putting little eyes and faces on them. So we're going to need some white modelling chocolate. And I'll just show you how we do the eyes. So you need two, two balls about the size of peas. One. Two. Just like that. Then you need two small balls about the size of that. It's really hard to see, but it's probably about the size of a, one of those pins with a head on it, one of those coloured heads. So there you go. You need four sets of eyes, so eight eyeballs in total, and eight little highlights in total as well. And after we've done that, then we'll touch the black. If we touch the black now, and then did those, then we'd get grey highlights in our eyeballs. So we need four of those, and eight little white dots. So now we're just going to make the pupils. And we're just going to, about the size of a pea, same deal as before, we're going to squash them onto the table. Again, we build them off our figurine. And that's why if we make a mistake, we're not actually trying to pull them back off the flower, we're only just trying to pull them back off the table. So Then we pull them up and put them straight onto our eyeballs. And then we pick up our little highlights and we just drop them into the top right hand corner. It makes them look a bit, of, a bit of character. Then we pull the eyeballs off the table and we stick them on like that. And now they've got little eyeballs. I'm just going to get a little piece of modelling chocolate and just pin it out with my fingers like that and I'm just going to put them on that one so you can see. So the beauty of modelling chocolate is it never dries. It always stays soft and pliable so you can go back in afterwards and just with a spoon just give it a little mouth like that. So while the ladies are finishing off their mouths, I'm going to wrap mine. <laughs> so 
So beginning to end, it took us about 40 minutes. What did you think? It was awesome. And you? I would love this for a present. Cool. So keep an eye out for more of our videos. They should be coming out soon. And I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. We'll see you around. Cheers. Bye.